Welcome to Life with Tech, where we help you take back control of your tech. Today we're going to take a look at Rovio's new Angry Bird Epics game. My name's Thomas Frehley. Join me as we take a first look at the new Angry Birds Epic. The Angry Bird Epic game is free on the App Store. There is a few in-app purchases. Um, I don't know what they are yet. This is my first look at it. Uh, my boys have been bugging me about this game and have been waiting for it. So uh, let's take a look on the App Store right here real quick. The description, uh, it's, it literally just came out yesterday, June 12th, 2014. It is free. There's a couple of screenshots from them. Of course, there's not many reviews. Well, not any reviews yet. Being Oh, there it goes. Uh, some people are seeing audio problems, server issues. But uh, okay, let's uh, let's jump right in. I have not launched this game at all yet, um, so let's uh, let's go for it. Here we go. Yeah, make sure my volume's up. Looks like it's downloading audio files. And now it's loading it into memory. So I guess that makes for a dynamic game if you could continuously update files when needed. And now it's loading levels. Yeah, my boys um, love the Angry Birds series of games. Uh, they have all of them. Um, and they're always excited when the new one when a new one comes out, especially when it's a new um, play style. Oh, would you like to send you notifications? Sure, I'll allow you for now. That's a setting we could always change later. All right, so I am getting a little notification for me to tap the screen, so let's go ahead and do that. Sign in with your Rovio account to share your game progress across multiple devices. Now, isn't this supposed to be the point of the game center? But um, I guess if you're going cross-platform, uh, it would be beneficial, I guess. Oh, and there goes our first crash. All right, let's try this one more time. Checking internet connection, logging in, retrieving latest information, loading audio into memory. Loading levels. Log me into Game Center. And there goes another crash. Okay, so from this point, let me make sure close as much stuff out. I only have two apps open, and let's try it one more time. They say three times a charm, right? So let's see.
Yep, three times a charm. So it looks like we've got an intro video of some kind. There's an all skip option at the bottom too, but I want to see the video. <laughs> Planting eggs. Looks cute. Yeah, I love RPG games, and my kids have begun liking them too, so this, sh this should be very cool for them. Alright, it's telling me to tap on what looks like a flagpole of some kind. South Beach. And tap on, it looks like weapons on the bottom right. And another hint. Your turn. So, drag and drop onto the enemy. Here we go. Click and drag. I have no clue what this is to the banana. Oh, you're spinning the wheel. Okay. So you spin a wheel to get your randomized loot. So I guess I got three stars for that. So it looks like uh, the game will have the whole try to get maximum stars things, which is cool. It's one of the things we like. Okay, let's click on to the next little poll, South Beach 2. I'm assuming right here on the left-hand side where the little arrow is and maybe how hard the battle will be for us. And then the box, I guess, represents the wheel on how many items we would get. And again, I guess I press on the two swords to start the battle. Your turn. I still don't know what characters are what. Um, I'll go for this guy first. My turn. I'll continue going with the same guy. Okay, he's down. Woo, let's spin the wheel. Again, we just swipe. Maybe that first one is gold? I couldn't figure out what it was before. Maybe it's some kind of gold. Gold box and a tomato. I have no clue what uh, what they're about yet. Weapons increase birds attack foul. Okay. New. Daily golden pig. Catch the daily golden pig and bountiful rewards await you. Uh, so I could click where, where I guess when it's one of those things if they pop on the screen you want to click on them and it looks like again so I guess we're in yellow so it's a medium hard um, fight and it looks like we're gonna spin or win a chest no, let's see here tap and hold anything for exploration oh I have to fight a bunch of pigs I don't know how this works yet Let's go back and forth with the one pig. Okay, let's see. Do we have to spin for that chest or do we just get it? 
So we spin for it. Uh, we didn't get it, but we got money. So it's a chance to win a chest. Offhand items increase a bird's health. So those hints look like they're worth reading. Oh, so if you get... You want to try to get this daily pig every day in order to keep the chain going to get more for your daily bonuses. And it looks like they have some kind of Facebook thing too. All right, let's keep going. Next one. Again, we're still in the yellow and the three bananas. I don't know. Tap a bird to use its supportive. Hold. Hold, question mark. Hold. Oh, there it goes. Uh, so if we hold on them, we get more options. Attack, protect, heroic strike. So an attack was the basic attacks we were using before. Target increases less damage. Okay, so let's do what it says. Hold. And oh, every time we... Looks like every time we hit him... There's a little pepper at the bottom. Get some more health. So I'm assuming maybe, but... Okay, this is telling me to tap it now. Oh, so that's the shield. So we tap on ourselves for a protective... And we tap and drag to actually do an attack. We have a little pepper down there, uh, building up some... Okay, we're gonna tap again. That's gonna give us our shield back. We do take some damage with the shield, but I guess it just reduces it. Oh. Looks like our pepper's ready there. So we click on it and drag it to our character. Maybe he eats it? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let's spin this wheel again. Each weapon and orphan item has a passive bonus ability. Funny, they're teasing you. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's, let's do the shield.
This is fun, but I want to see how um how the game plays with more characters, like a real RPG, and how the weapons you choose your weapons and whatnot. We haven't gotten that far yet. Okay. Let's take a break right here. Let's take a look at this little gear on the bottom left. See what options we have in the game. So it looks like we have sound options. We can mute. We have a shopping cart. If I click it, uh, I'm getting a loading thing in the top right. Oh, I guess it's to restore purchases of things you've bought. Let's see what the little I buttons does. That looks like it's uh, privacy policy and ELA information. Tunes? Tunes.tv. Oh, so I guess they have some little, like, uh, comic books and advertisements featured and channels. Let's see what channels it does. Yeah, all right. I'll exit that. Uh, we have this little keyboard looking thing. Enter your code. Okay. And then we click the gear to close it again. And if we click the egg on the right hand side, let's see what that does. It brings us to the beach. Okay. I guess is this is where you would make stuff, get portions, forge things, alchemy. Oh, it looks pretty cool though. That uh, I clicked on the little guy right by the water up there with the big nose. Uh, let's try this totem thing. So the totem is messages. So you go back and forth with people, I guess. Um, yeah, let's go back to that guy. Let's look in valuables. See what that looks like. Oh, I guess this is the in-store purchase stuff. You go buy gold for real money. I mean, I'm not a big fan of that. All right, let's take a look. What was portions? Oh, no portions right now. Forge. So here you go. So I guess you collect those boxes, the sh seashells we've been getting, um, the wood. And it also tells you how many you have underneath them. So like the wood says te you need 10 to make something, and we have 6. Okay, I'm going to find out more about that stuff later. And let's take a look at alchemy, which has a new thing. Um, oh, okay, that wasn't gold. That is considered shiny sand. Um, and we saw some of that water, and then we saw those bananas and tomatoes. Okay, so we're not up to using any of that stuff yet. So click the back button a couple of times, get back to the game. Okay, I really want to get to the little guy inside the cave, and then uh, we'll end it after him. Wave battle. Again, we're in the middle. And we'll... Combat in this game is turn-based. You can only give orders. Okay. Oh, so we're, we're continuing going in the c cave here. Oh boy. Yeah, I guess we do want to help the guy in 
who's locked up a little bit. Oh, he buffed his own guys. Give them shields. So it's still telling me to go after him and try to get him out. Yay! He looks like a mage or magic user or something. Oh, he just... He knocked everyone else out with one shot. Alright, spin the wheel. Feels like the price is right. So now I got uh, a little helper here. Chuck, a powerful wizard, deals damage to all enemies at once. Very cool. Okay, that being said, I wanna. I wasn't gonna stop there, but let's keep going. I wanna see how the interaction is with multiple people. And we have a full page ad. I knew that was gonna come sooner or later, seeing that the, the game itself is free. Okay, so let's attack the middle guy. Nice. Now I'm gonna drag down. This is gonna put a shield on him too. Cool. Yeah, let's do the same thing we did before. Put a shield on that guy too. Okay, so what happens if I hold on him? So he got his passive, his defensive. Please raid our game. So far I'm liking it, I'll give it... I'm gonna exit out for now. That's funny. Okay guys, uh, I am gonna leave it here. I don't wanna make the video too long. Uh, for uh, full thoughts and everything, please check out our site, lifewithtech.net. Um, if you like these videos, hit subscribe down below. And uh, if you've played the game, let us know your thoughts, please. In uh, either down below in the video or uh, on our site in the comments. Thanks, guys.